Hey everybody, welcome to Pop Culture Philosophers. I'm Rockin' Robbie Billups, and today I'm going to be talking about The Savage Shores, number five. That's right, everybody. Thanks for checking out the video. I am Rockin' Robbie Billups. Today, I'm giving an advanced review of The Savage Shores No. 5, which arrives in comic shops this upcoming new comic book day. That's right, this Wednesday, the conclusion to The Savage Shores. It's been a while. We've been eagerly anticipating this one for a while, and I'm telling you, it's definitely worth the wait. I will wait a long time for a comic book with quality on the level of The Savage Shores. This book is elegant. This book is masterful. This book is just absolutely such a great and beautiful experience and it's a very stunning satisfying conclusion to this epic saga so it's a tale about vampires vampires from the west invading in uh, into india basically so it takes that historical context right and and it builds this 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 very rich story around it with incredibly enthralling and engaging and compelling characters with magnificent and nuanced themes um, that are just rich and, and resonate even from the historical context into relevancy today. I absolutely love this book. It's written by Ram V, artwork by Sumit Kumar, lettering by Aditya Bidikar, and coloring by Vittorio Astoni. And each one of these creators is at the tip top of their game for this, working in concert together to really make an absolutely masterful comic book, and that is the word I would use for The Savage Shores is masterful. This is a masterpiece. It's a great work of historical horror. It's got rich, deep, resonating themes. It's elegant. Um, it's eloquent, and it really has a great use of language, a great use of flow, um, the coloring, the atmosphere, the mood. It is absolutely top notch. This book is amazing. If you've been reading this book and you are so excited for the conclusion, it's going to blow you away. It's going to really be satisfying. If you've been trade waiting this one and you haven't jumped onto the The Savage Shorts bandwagon yet, the trade comes out in November and it's going to read as one very very profound comic book, one great graphic novel. I absolutely love the conclusion, the way it all wound up, the, 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 the dialogue, the usage of that language, like I said, the last line of the book, everything. This is a book about monsters, the monster within and the monster without and how we deal with that. Um, it's a book about change. It's a book about choice. Um, it's a book about hope. It's a book about brutal tragedy and brutal honesty. And it's absolutely a masterpiece. It's absolutely fantastic. Ron B does a great job building up these characters to a pitch and up to a point that's just so necessary. This book explodes in both violence and subtlety. This book is direct and subtle at the same time, and it really gets its point across, and it really finds a way to reach inside and kind of to kind of pluck on all those right strings inside of your soul. I don't know. This book is amazing. I absolutely love it. The artwork by Kumar is Fantastic, stunning, astounding, beautiful, elegant. The the line work, it's got a great sense of flow, a beautiful sense of composition. Kumar uses the grid. And most comic books that add in a lot of detail like Kumar does, um, and they use the grid, they can become a little clunky. They can become a little cluttered. This book has lots of room to breathe. The artwork is very spacious, and it provides such a great um, atmosphere, right? And that atmosphere gets enhanced by Astoni's colors. Vittorio's colors are so moody, atmospheric, and tonally relevant and purposeful. It's absolutely fantastic work. It's got a great just... Just everything about it is beautiful. The artwork is gorgeous, and it just, like, just on artwork alone, this book is already a masterpiece. But then you add in all those rich themes. You also add in Aditya Bidikar on the lettering. Bidikar is one of the best letterers in the business right now. For instance, most people, when they use uh, uh, cursive in a comic book, it gets a little hard to read and kind of pull you out of the story. Bidikar uses cursive to maximum effect. He uses different styles of it, even, to maximum effect. Easy to read, easy to flow and understand. It's absolutely a masterful work of comic book art. This stuff is absolutely amazing. If you haven't read These Savage Shores yet, I highly encourage you to do so. Like we said, we're about a month away from that trade paperback. If you've been reading it, you're going to be blown away by this final issue. My hat's off to the entire creative team because this book has been absolutely astounding. It's been one of the most important comic books I've read. This year has been really good for comic books, but These Savage Shores is standing head and shoulders above a lot of the rest out there. There isn't quite a comic book like this. Vault Comics has been doing exceptional work, fantastic fantasy, um, horror, science fiction. These Savage Shores is such an excellent prime example of that. 
I don't know if comic books get better than this. And I know I've been hyping it a lot, up a lot over the months here on the channel, but it is really that good. These Savage Shores number five is going to blow you away. It's brutal. It's violent. It's tragic. It's it's hopeful. It's it's elegant. It's masterful. It's absolutely the perfect comic book. It is so amazing. So amazing. So there you go. My unbiased review because I just love comics and this book is exceptional. So I really do appreciate the early look and I hope you check out these Savage Shores if you haven't already. And like I said, if you have been, get ready because this is a masterpiece. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Please do join us over at popculturephilosophers.com for podcasts and a whole lot more. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and join us here for other exciting content like the weekly comic book review, movie reviews, weekly pop culture wrap-ups, live streams, comics revisited, all that and more, and right here in one fun location. So thank you guys so much. We really do appreciate everything. Thanks for rocking with us. Keep on reading.